This ape says shorts want you distracted with FUD so that you stop promoting movies, talking about the popcorn, and AMC growth potential. These things attract new investors instead of making them want to sell. And that's what they don't want. It's been pretty crazy over the recent trading days because the rest of the market is going crazy while well, AMC stock is sort of being left behind, if you will. But as the FUD has been getting thicker and thicker, some of the apes think that it's just another situation like we've seen in the past where it's the storm before the sunlight. This ape says what happens when they know they will lose. Throw as much crap at it and hope it sticks. That is why when AMC gets any positive lawsuit news or anything great for our company, we see fake news article shills on every ape's threat. This proves desperation, in my opinion, I'll come, we buy more. Stay away from the FUD apes. Do your own research, do your own DD, figure out what's really going on, because it is a wasteland out there. This ape says, I think once rate hikes are confirmed, to have finally stopped, and when we eventually get a rate cut, that is when the mark will really run again. Until then, they will keep propping it up around this level. I don't think we had the crash many expect it. So this ape might be onto something. The big, big crash that a lot of us thought was going to come seems to be continuously paused or prolonged. Do you think that we are going to get the massive stock market crash that many thought so, or do you think the massive red in the market is behind us? Remember, the stock market is no longer based on fundamentals or supply and demand, just hedge funds endlessly exploiting loopholes, fails to deliver off exchange, suppression, short and store campaigns. Congress is bribed and the SEC is a joke. On top of that, we're now in a market where it feels like they are able to make new rules as they go. And my question to them is simple. How is the fact that they're making new rules as they go, or trying to at least, how is that not going to create massive market uncertainty? The answer is, is it will. This ape says it's a matter of time. Listen guys, I know it feels like they can, but they can't keep this up forever. When you push things off and never fix a problem and continue to kick the can on the road, eventually a part of the body dies off. The whole situation with the Federal Reserve, the repos, and T-bonds rates will mess with the banks badly. More will lead to the point that they can't stop it. June contracts are expiring soon. Tick tock, tick tock. And this ape down below says, feels like it just started yesterday. I know I'm right and it keeps me fresh. It's a piece of cake once you realize we have the easy part. We just gotta sit here in the circus and eat popcorn and watch the show while they try to juggle more and more and more and more. Everyone knows how this ends, whether they say it out loud or not. Now that's exactly how I feel, especially as of recently, since there's been so many bullish catalysts coming out of AMC's fundamental company. This whole entire play has been frustrating at times, but like this ape said down below, two years is nothing. I can take as long as it takes. And comment down below if you agree.